Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead. We are on Somerset number two. So make sure you guys hop on here if you guys want to play some Crafting Dead. This is the server I will be playing on when I'm doing the solo style uh, online. So hey, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy, the Golden Muffin. I like your your name, man. If you're watching this video, uh, in the comment section, say, say hello because that's a pretty sick skin. I love this skin. That looks awesome. Alright, but let's get into today's episode. First of all, if you guys don't remember, last episode... So we kind of got wrecked. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna take that back. We kind of destroyed those people in that shop, whatever it was, the building. However, I ran out, ran out of ammo, and that's why I kind of got destroyed at the end of it. If you guys don't remember, I kind of had a pistol at the end, and it didn't go too well. So what I decided to do was in today's episode to get ourselves some guns and ammo and gear in the shop instead of using a kit. So this is what I made up right now. We're gonna pop everything on. We got ourselves a brand new camo uh, helmet, which is something I wanted to try out because it looks pretty cool. And we got some basic stuff like a backpack and things like that. I did put in some extra ammo clips in here and some water and some food just to keep it stored inside. And then we did get ourselves a police suit which is a medium level protection and I just wanted to go with that because it kind of looks cool with the blue. So I decided to just jump on that and see how that works for us. And then for some weapons here we got a gift from someone that dropped it off. It was a, an AKM. Then we have ourselves an M4A1, which is what I bought, and then an FNFAL. So, we're going to try them out and see how they work. We have plenty of ammo for both, all three of these guns here. So, we are more than ready to go and take out some people. So, it's going to be good. This time, we're going to play serious. We're not going to, we're going to make sure no one takes us out, if anything, if you know what I mean. So, we're going to keep this AK on our shoulder here, and we're going to get this sledgehammer ready to rock and roll with the melee weapon. So, if anything happens, we, we're pretty much set with that. I did get some tactical bacon and some other basic needs. So, let's get started, guys. Let's do slash, wait, no, dash R spawn. I don't know why I did that. Um, and there we go. We're back at it. All right, sweet. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's Let's go for 100 to 200 likes. I really do appreciate the support, and I'm going to try my best. I know last time I challenged you guys for 200 likes, we almost reached it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be nice, and I'm going to say I'm still going to try my best to upload almost daily Crafting Dead for you guys on the server, because I know you guys really enjoy it, and I want to make sure you guys get the most out of it if you guys really enjoy this series. All right, we're going to do something sneaky here. We're going to do Slash Near. Okay, there's no one here. So we're just going to check out this building. Now, I haven't used this gun before. The F I'm going to call it an FN. Let's see, I'm just going to call it an FN, um, but it looks really cool, and I think if this works well for us, we're going to make this our official crafting dead gun, because I want to have some type of official kit, and by the ways, oh, what's this? Pickles, this is new. All right, we got some open can of pickles. <laughs> that's that's kind of interesting. All right, I guess we need some pickles in The Walking Dead. Um, so... What I was going to say was, I wanted to talk to you guys and find out if you guys are interested in maybe potentially having your own kit that's kind of made by me. So what that means is, I'll maybe talk to Andrew and see if I can make my own kit so that people can use it. And that can be something cool and I can give those away and we'll see how that works for us. Now, I have no idea what this electronic signal does, so we're just going to keep it in there and just store up whatever we can from here and see if we can find anything else. But so far, I think we're sticking with some basics. We got a wrench. Definitely gonna use that if anything, if we need backup. Um, but other than that, I think we're gonna we're gonna skedaddle. We're gonna get out of here, guys. Um, uh, that's an awesome word, skedaddle. I don't know about you guys, but that's like that's like my new thing. I, I'm gonna use that for now. If someone wants to get out of here, they're gonna have to skedaddle. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, oh wow, there's a lot of walkers that just spawned out around here. Oh, one thing I forgot to do was I did not get a suppressor or a silencer. Um, so that's a suppressor. So. Um, that's something I guess we're gonna have to work with for now. We don't have a suppressor, uh, so it is what it is. But let's see what we can get here. Some rags and MRE. Definitely some good stuff around here. Alright, let's see. There's some other places around here that I want to check out. So we're gonna do that. Oh, some more walkers just chilling around here. There's actually a lot of walkers around this area. Alright, we're gonna take this path down the road. And we're going to go see where that takes us. Um, and yeah, that should be pretty good. And also, guys, in the comment sections, if you guys want, I can maybe start doing some challenges when I'm doing the solo on the server of the Crafting Dead. So if you guys want me to do some challenges, then let me know for sure because I'd be more than interested to give it a shot so that you guys can get something out of this as well if you guys want. So in the comment sections, let me know what I should do for my next episode of the Crafting Dead and what that challenge should be. It could be anything. It could be uh, no gun uh, challenger, no melee weapon challenger, something creative that you guys think would be pretty fun to see. Oh, sweet. What is this? Bolt cutters. Oh, that's awesome. I think so now I, I believe 
uh, they added this a while back or like recently, but it's the uh, barbed wire. That I think is what is this? Yeah, the barbed wire is back, but a sheep mask. No way. Oh no, this looks probably really weird. Oh my gosh, this looks really weird. <laughs> This is, this is just, oh my gosh, we're gonna keep it on. We just have to keep it on. I don't know what else to say, but uh, we're, we're gonna be the inner sheep. We're gonna, we're gonna redeem ourselves. We're not gonna be a fox or a killing predator. We're just gonna be a sheep, a, a calm sheep. But what they don't know is we're gonna take them out. We're not gonna be any friendly sheep. <laughs> we're gonna be the next assassin sheep, so that should be pretty funny. All right, let's see if we find any people. We'll probably do that. Oh, a hatchet, okay. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna replace, no, no, no. Sledgehammer always wins. Sledgehammer always wins. I don't know what we're talking about there. Uh, anything else around here? This is a pretty simple, futuristic town. Um, I like it because it's... What in the... Did you guys just see that? He was just inside the stairs for a second. That was kind of creepy. Alright, um, let's just jump down. I don't think I'm going to be able to break my legs, so we should be good. Awesome. Some more walkers. Let's just try out this gun. I don't think there's too many walkers around here, so let's give it a shot. Okay, this is the gun, guys. I think this is our next weapon for sure. It's a two-hit kill, and it makes such an awesome sound. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. Let me know what you guys think about the FN gun. Um, I think it's going to be a cool thing. What is this? A rope. What can you use a rope? So craft splints and other useful tools. So we can make a splint. And that's something i got to learn as well, is what type of things I can do with crafting these items with. Because there are some new things that we can craft and make before you couldn't make a splint. So I'm like, alright, we're going to try this. We're going to, hey, how about this, guys? What if I try to do a series that's going to be something with the crafting dead ends, kind of like tutorials and builds and little hints and tricks. I don't know if that's something you guys would be up for, but let me know. Because if it's something you guys really want to see, then I could probably give it a shot and see what you guys reactions are to it so we'll see about that let me know in the comment sections though uh all right empty water bottle we don't need we got to find some people so we can freak them out with this sheep mask we got going on around here they're not going to see it coming at all i'm, I'm sure that they won't see it coming and if they do then they're a pro uh this is a small house all right we're packing up on a lot of items here so that's not the worst case scenario but uh i could definitely do with some more action-packed people fighting around here so i'm sure this is not the town uh, so we're just gonna keep walking off in the distance and see what we can find. Is this someone's base here? There's a helicopter, so that's not a bad spot to place this base. I'm pretty sure this is a base. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, let's check out this helicopter and see if we can find anything in here. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I like using Somerset because there's just a lot more things around here to do. Uh, because I, I pretty much did everything in Atlanta. Alright, what is this? This is a bag of coffee beans. How do you, what do you do with this? Do you need, like, water? Do you have to craft it in some way? Let's see if, what it's all about here. So, it's a craftable. Okay, so with a flask. So, we do have some other items that were added. Oh, okay, let's take them out. There we go. Oh, this is awesome. All right, if we can't take out people, we're going to take out a lot of zombies. A lot of walkers. There we go. That was awesome. If we find any people, they should be worried because this sheep has no mercy. <laughs> we're going to go all out. All right, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, let's actually eat up some food. We do need some water, but I think the noodles give us something, so we're pretty good on that. Uh, there's some more walkers chasing us here. I'm not gonna waste too much ammo on them. Uh, we did kind of just give them a little, a round full of clips, so they're pretty much all set. They kind of get the idea that this sheep is not friendly. <laughs> uh, even though we're like a fox in disguise, this is fantastic. Alright, uh, I like that. Maybe we should come up with a design as well so that if we make a clan on the solo server We can even like come up with a, a certain design that people would wear in the clan So it kind of stands out that could be something cool. This is not gonna be the official design that I have right now But it's something to uh, consider um, In the future so that that could be something really cool. Right, let's check out this town I know that there's probably gonna be people around here. There's no one around here There's actually not a lot of people on right now. So uh, I guess that's kind of a bonus in a way but uh, I promise you guys, action-packed things will happen. And those guys that we killed in that whatever building, that was a pretty good fight. I gotta be honest, they gave a good fight, even with how many people there were. And just me solo, I'm telling you, if I had ammo, I would have been able to take them out for sure. Alright, more canned pickles. I don't know why, but like, it's just like, I that, imagine how nasty that would be. Like, canned pickles, just, ugh, no, that wouldn't work out. I wouldn't like that. Um, Alright, let's see. Anything else around here? Just some more zombies. All right, let's just check out this hospital. We could probably use some medical gear since we're kind of low on that. So let's check it out and see if we can find anything around here. Close up all these doors. We don't want... Any oh, wait, never mind. That was just awkward. 
There's like a full open wall right here, and I'm trying to close up the doors. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna work. All right, we got a bipod. Uh, what else? Anything else? Just a lot of payday masks. Um, anything up here? Oh, this looks like the broken down hospital in a way. I don't think we're gonna be able to make this jump, but do I see anything useful around here? I don't know. We're gonna... No, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna break our legs if we do so. Uh, this one probably didn't spawn properly in. Oh, wait. There's some parkour here. Can we get on the roof? Oh, oh, okay. I like this. Okay, this is cool. Anything we can see from here? There are homes here. Tons of homes. So that's also a bonus, if anything. So that's pretty cool. Anything down here? Oh, this is the type of building. Is that a police building? We're gonna go check it out right now. Let's go check it out and see what that's all about. Let's actually put ourselves a bipod on this gun here, the FN. Um, we should get a silencer sometime, or a suppressor. I don't know why I keep calling them silencers. Uh, is there anything? No, there's really nothing here that we can just jump for. So, let's get out, out of this place and see if we can find any... Oh my goodness. Alright, there are a lot of walkers down here. This is, like, really the sim similar place to, like, last episode. This is the exact same way the building was, like, broken down around the edges. So, um, I'm sure that's not what it's supposed to be like, but I'm, um, I'm pretty sure it's just, like, they spawned it in kind of wrong so that's that but how did people get in here that's the real question guys i don't even know how people got in here uh i don't see any door i mean unless no you can't open them so i don't know how people got in here um is there a way to just like no i don't know that's kind of cool though i don't know how they got in here but props to them uh they probably somehow got spawned in here or some sorts but that's cool all right we're causing too much attention let's check out this little factory building here um and see if we can find any sources okay yeah no you guys are gonna have to die here. Too many walkers. I need to take out my weapon for sure. I didn't want to go to safety on that. I didn't want to waste, you know, all my ammo, but I think, oh, there's a lot of them. No, we should actually, we could take them out. We used half of the, our rounds on just walkers, so we can definitely sacrifice some of our bullets for that because it was kind of dangerous, but I think I could have probably taken them all out, but it's not a big deal. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is awesome. This is something new as well, and this too. What is, wait, I hear walkers. I don't feel safe. Wait. Okay, we're good. Um, what is this? Hold up, hold up. We got some new stuff. We got an empty flask. Okay, so now we can actually make some coffee. I wonder if we can craft that for some somehow. I don't know. Let's see if we can do that. No. Empty flask. I don't know. I think we have to fill it up with water probably as well. Are there walkers up here? What's going on? There's a lot of walker sounds. All right, and then we got this, which is an alpha loot crate. Uh, potential contents. Oh, wow. There's a lot of cool stuff. So there are crates now. I wonder if we can... Yeah, we can use it, I believe, if you right-click. So let's give it a shot and see what we get. All right. We got ourselves a full ghillie suit, which is really not too convenient because the protection level is none. So, uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that was a big punch right there. Do you see that? Okay, there's a lot of walkers, guys. Oh, this is bad. All right, we're going to take him out somehow. Yeah, but that ghillie suit is not going to be anything of benefit for us. So we're just going to drop that. But look at all these walkers here. It is kind of insane. All right, we're going to throw that out. Um, oh, my goodness. All right, this is actually kind of crazy. Why are there so many walkers? All right, let's take them all out. Let's just go for it. Let's get some action-packed here stuff. All right, out of ammo on that gun. All right, they want they want to fight. You can't fight the sheep that's freaking an actual fox. You can't do that. No. All right, there we go. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm just like, this is actually, I'm destroying these walkers. They got nothing on me. I think it's the sheep mask, guys. I think it's giving me some powers that I never knew I had inside me. <laughs> so, yeah, this is great. All right, let's let's just try to take all of them out. That's a pretty big challenge right there. I mean, that's a lot of walkers. I think this is the most walkers I've killed in one episode on the server in general. Out of all the episodes I've done, that is the most amount of walkers I think I've killed. And you know what's interesting? I think you actually get more dehydrated after you do so much work, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if that's true, but... It would kind of make sense. Can we, like, drink some of the pickle juice, which is nasty, probably? No, we can't. Okay. Hey, there's another uh, crate here. Let's pick it up. What's it called? It is a crate, right? Yeah, it is. So this is a Bravo loot crate. Let's try this out. All right. I think this looks pretty cool. First of all, let's check what you can get. I want to know what you can get from this because it looks pretty cool. I really like this new feature. So we got some new guns, some morphine, some other cool, simple things. Uh, you can pause it if you want to see what's inside the crate. But let's give it a shot. Let's see what we get. Oh boy, all right, an AS-50. Now, this gun is loud. This gun will take out any walker. It is so loud but amazing. Hey, another one. I like this. I like these crates. Let's just keep doing this. <laughs> all right, this is another alpha crate, so we kind of know what's in here. I'll pop it up again for you guys. You can pause it and see what's inside it. 
Uh, but let's check it out. We got ourselves... Oh, tan army. Is this... This is high. Oh, we are so gonna wear this. Okay. I think this is even a cool design to go with as well. Uh, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Alright, let's eat this MRE. Get ourselves some hydration in here. Let's take out this guy with a big gun here. Man, this is too easy. All right, we're coming close to the end of the episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, I know that you guys are really enjoying The Crafting Dead. And I'm going to try to continue to upload as much of it as possible. And of course, you guys really do miss the roleplay. But that will return as soon as I got time for it. So that will be coming back. I promise you guys that. And Season 2 will be action-packed for sure. Probably a lot more quality than in Season 1, which is you know hard to say. But we got to up our game a bit more. But other than that, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. Let's go from anywhere to 100 to 200 likes. And look at this, guys. We found an airfield. So that's a perfect area just to pause off. We're going to get in one of these homes here and call it a night. And it's actually sundown. So this is a perfect way to end off today's episode. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment sections. And I'll catch you guys later with more Crafting Dead. Peace out, guys. Stay foxy.